Welcome to episode 5 of Sailing Quick Creations. We've come a long way since we started working on the boat. We've blasted the hull. We identified over 130 areas of welding defects after blasting underneath the paint. They're all hidden. They've all been fixed up now. They've included porosity in the welds, just parts where the welds just weren't finished. Like they'd, they'd started welding one side, they, they came up and welded the other side. They even had a plate that came down welding that and when they all intersected in the middle, there's a little hole. So, so one of the undercuts was even four millimeters deep. So they, they were all fixed up. So the hull's in tip top shape now. Everything that's got paint on it, but we've checked all the welds and everything's good now. So we then purchased the shipping container and that's taken a couple of weeks, but we've got rid of all the corrosion off the shipping container. We've painted the shipping container. We've turned it now into a workshop. So we're gonna take you on a tour of the new workshop and we're really happy. We're happy how it turned out. A couple of little things to tweak on it. We're gonna finish off the pegboard where I'm gonna be hanging all my tools up. We're gonna to get a few more um, bits of equipment in here. I'm gonna bring them from home. A little pedestal grill, drill, uh, a grinder, and a few more containers to keep all my stuff in. So we're going to have a lot more things that we're going to purchase. They're going to all going to be stored in here. We've got a marine ply coming. That's all going to be laid up on the side. But we're really happy with how it turned out. Now that we've got the workshop done, we're going to be able to plow onto those big jobs, and we're going to be we're not going to spend half hour looking for a tape measure or something. So everything has a spot now, and it's going to be so much easier. So I hope you guys enjoy what we've done. We've put a bit of effort in. Uh, it looks great. Uh, let us know what you guys think and we'll continue to put out some more videos and I'm glad that they're getting better and let's see what you guys think. We've got a bit of a confusing area up the foredeck here. So we've got two hatches right next to each other and a bow sprit and everything is causing problems. Nothing was thought out but I just slapped it together. So I think there's a real major redesign up the front here. So let me show what I'm talking about. Here we've got a hatch. So I've got plans for a new hatch to go in here. We ordered the hatches yesterday. Nice um, Betas hatches. The hatches are going to, this whole square is going to be cut out. And I'm going to weld in a new insert and then we're going to put in the new hatch. Um, it'll be a slimline, low profile hatch. It only sticks up about 23 millimeters. Uh, that's that's gonna be nice, like cosmetically beautiful four deck here without much protrusion sticking up. Now, these ones can lift up to 90 degrees and be locked in to position anywhere from zero to 90. And you just turn a little lever and it locks it in position. That gives you a good air vent to get some circulation through. So that, that's nice. Now this plate has been welded in here for the, um, the windlass. The problem with that is you put the windlass on here, the chains are going forward over the top of this hatch. So while you want to have anchors on, you can't open this. So that, that's an issue. I didn't think that through. But then you've got the bowsprit here. And as you can see, someone's gone ahead and welded on this bar here. Now the forestay connects to here, and this is in the way. Um, so that's a problem. Now, the other issue is if you, if you don't want to change the block, this, we're going to have to take this out move this up and then there's no point having that hatch next to hit this hatch so then there's that issue and then there's all the issue of in here is the empty void which you can't get to so god knows if that's all rusted inside um so we're going to be replacing that so another job we're planning on getting done is these holes here the, the port holes we want to modify them to look more modern so these are quite nautical at the moment round um, old school looking 
our boat we want a modern theme to it so we will cut these out and it, square them off and probably extend them so that they uh, they go a lot longer um, let a lot more light in we may look at getting a generic one that might open to let more air flow in if not I'll just cut out my own shape and make uh, acrylic to fit in just like in the aft section we want to do these portholes up here too we're gonna make them more long and more squared off uh, black tinted acrylic and we're going to be extending them they're going to look a lot more modern give us a better look to the boat one thing we've decided to do here is enlarge these windows uh, make it look a bit modern it's very old school looking with these rounded large radius corners on the windows um, so we might just join these two up and square out the edges As you can see, we've done a lot of prep work in here. You might not be able to see, it's pretty dark. But all the corrosion has been taken off all the walls and the doors everywhere around here. Got our personal access door there. On this wall here, we're going to be looking at putting a whiteboard up there for any notes that I need to make. I'm going to be putting a bench across here or all my uh, vice and pedestal drills and work that I need to conduct. And just all along these walls is gonna be storage. And this wall storage. We have a lot of stuff coming in for this boat and we need somewhere to put it. We decided to work on the floor. The timber here is a bit undulated. It steps up from the steel. And normally I'd sand it by using these sanding pads, but we don't have our little attachment. So we're gonna continue Doing it with the uh, wire brush and see how that turns out when I sand the tops off. last couple of weeks we've been working on our shipping container it's all complete now besides a couple of tiny little adjustments we're going to do let's have a bit of a look here we've uh, completed our PA door nice and easy to get in there so I ground the floor with a wire wheel instead of my sanding dish it came up pretty good. It, uh, we used it to take off the, the high spots. These timbers were sitting a bit proud of the steel beams. Uh, it made them a nice smooth transition now. So it all come up looking pretty good. I'm happy with the floor now. We sanded 
all the walls and the roof. The roof was just corroded like buggery. So we've fixed them all up now. Father-in-law came in and installed the lights and the power points over here. Put the rack in, hold all my power tools and everything. So we put in a new bench top across here, little L-shaped bench. Spread all the parts out nice and neat so we're not losing anything. We've put this board up on the wall here. We're going to mount all our tools on here. So spanners, shifters, tape measures, all nice and displayed on the wall there. Nice and easy to find stuff. So we've come up with this board, this whiteboard. So when I'm explaining things, I can draw pictures and diagrams on the whiteboard there. We've got a to-do list, in progress list, and completed list. So we're going to explain that maybe next week. And we're pretty happy with how it's turned out. It looks nice and neat. Everything's got a spot. You can not trip over everything while we're working. It's come up really good. I think we're pretty happy. Thanks for watching another episode. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it. We'll keep putting out videos each week. Leave a comment and subscribe if you like. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks everyone.